Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, Dr. Natural Medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. Hey, in this video I'll be sharing with you how to tighten up loose skin. You know, this is something that can happen as we age and whether your issue is wrinkles, sagging skin or loose skin anywhere in your body or even cellulite, these tips are gonna go a long way in helping you firm and tone up your skin. I'll go through the best essential oils, the best herbs and supplements and things that can really help. Now, here's some things to know about loose skin. Number one, this can happen when you lose weight quickly. You know, you can start to get some loose and sagging skin with weight loss. The other big thing here is aging. As you age, you're naturally gonna lose some muscle mass, which can cause sagging skin. Hormonal changes can be a risk, as can smoking on a regular basis. So let's jump in and talk about what are the best natural remedies for helping you firm and tone your skin. Well, one great natural remedy is using essential oils on a regular basis. One of my favorites is geranium. Now, geranium actually is therapeutic for the liver and kidneys. It's also been shown to help get rid of skin inflammation and hydrate the skin. And also it's been shown to help tighten and firm the skin. So using uh, this essential oil, what I do is recommend mixing about five drops of this oil with jojoba oil and rubbing it on your skin once to twice every single day. So again, geranium or geranium rose is a unique form of geranium that is my favorite to use for doing this. Now frankincense oil, you know frankincense oil is referenced uh, so many times, it's the most referenced essential oil in the Bible. It's been used for beauty treatments for thousands of years, and it contains a compound called pinene, which has anti-inflammatory properties. But frankincense is a good oil that really also helps with skin tone. If somebody has age spots or sun-damaged skin, frankincense oil can help naturally heal that skin area and even out that skin tone, but it's also been shown to help firm and tone up the skin because of the really unique compounds like pinene found in this essential oil. Same thing, you can mix this with geranium and jojoba oil, apply it directly to the skin. Now, probably my favorite essential oil to use overall for the skin. Now, this oil has been used uh, throughout history to reduce bruising. If you're a person that bruises easy, you get some of those black and blue spots, Argon oil reduces inflammation and actually improves circulation to those areas as well. So argon oil, this is one of the number one carrier oils that's used in a mixture with essential oils for anti-aging on the skin. This is a great one to use on the face. Now hyaluronic acid, this is a really unique compound that's found traditionally in bone broth in collagen products. Now hyaluronic acid, number one, that you wanna be getting this in a bone broth form. So you can get it from a bone broth powder you're adding to a smoothie. You can get it by drinking bone broth, but that's really the number one way you wanna get this on your skin or get it in your body. In addition though, topically, you can do hyaluronic acid treatments on your skin, and it's a great thing to do to help firm and tone up your skin there on a regular basis. Now again, collagen promoting foods, I already mentioned this, but as you age, you produce less collagen. Collagen is really what keeps your skin firm and toned and tight. So in order to slow that progression, you've gotta consume foods that are really rich in collagen. The most collagen uh, boosting foods are bone broth, wild caught salmon, ideally with the skin. The skin actually has the largest amounts of collagen. Chicken skin and even egg yolks to a small degree also have some collagen promoting benefits in collagen. So again, egg yolk, wild salmon, bone broth, sardines would also be on that list. And even to a degree, things like medicinal mushrooms like reishi and cordyceps, um, beets, can also to a small degree really support collagen in the body. So I really recommend a collagen supplement. I would get a collagen supplement that has multiple sources, especially chicken, turkey, and fish collagen are gonna be the best sources or doing a bone broth powder in a smoothie every single day that's a bone broth, uh, a protein powder that's bone broth based, absolutely the best there of you wanna use. And they've been clinically proven, these supplements, to help with skin elasticity skin moisture, dryness, skin roughness, help all of those things. And listen, this, there was a double blind placebo study that found that women between the ages of 35 and 50 who did about five gram, two, to, uh, two to five grams of collagen a day saw improvements in all these things in just eight weeks. In fact, I had my own relative, she started using a, a multi-collagen uh, protein supplement along with a bone broth supplement. She said after just two weeks, she noticed a tremendous difference in her skin, her hair, and her nails in a short period of time. Now, a few other supplements to, to consider, 
astaxanthin. Now, astaxanthin is a naturally occurring sub, uh, compound found in seaweed and wild-caught salmon. In fact, you see these sort of the redness, orangeness there. Astaxanthin is what gives salmon its orange color, wild-caught salmon. So this has been shown as well to really be great for um, actually improving your skin texture in clinical studies. And the other thing I want to mention here, we've talked a lot about food, we've talked about supplements, lifting weights, improving your overall muscle mass absolutely helps reduce that sk sagging skin and, and, and cellulite and premature wrinkles and all these things, lifting weights on a regular basis. I think for a lot of women as well, there is a fear that lifting weights will make them bulky. The truth of the matter is, most women in terms of their hormones, they don't have high enough levels of testosterone to actually increase muscle mass in that bulky fashion. If anything, they're just gonna look very toned and leaned and firm. And it really is the number one thing, way ahead of cardio, that women should be doing as they age, not just to have beautiful, amazing, tight, firm skin, but also for the health of their bones to prevent osteoporosis and overall, uh, just to balance hormones. I mean, lifting weights supports hormone production in the body, lifting weights, just even two to three days a week for 20 to 30 minutes has tremendous benefits on the body and reducing loose and sagging skin. Last sort of treatment here, one of the last, dry brushing. You know, dry brushing is something that um, can easily be done with dry brushing. You're basically exfoliating your skin. It can reduce cellulite appearance for a period of time. So dry brushing can be a good thing to do there as well. And listen, stop smoking. This should be a no brainer. I mean, it is the fastest thing that will age you faster than anything else. So remember these tips. Use essential oils like geranium and frankincense. Use natural oils like arnic, uh, argon oil. Hyaluronic acid is a natural skin treatment. Consume collagen promoting foods like bone broth, uh, wild caught salmon and egg yolks. Get a collagen protein supplement in your diet on a regular basis. Astaxanthin, lift weights, do some dry brushing, don't smoke, and you're gonna see that loose skin those areas will tighten and firm up and you're gonna look better, you're gonna feel better. Hey, if you've enjoyed this live training video, make sure to subscribe here to my YouTube channel and my Facebook channel. I've got a lot more great videos coming up on anti-aging, using essential oils and herbs and using food as medicine. Uh, again, I wanna say thanks for watching this video and again, follow these tips to help improve loose skin. Hi, Dr. Axter, I wanna say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video and also don't forget to subscribe if you wanna get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.